Good day everyone, your buddy Dion here again, just at lot 3 Wentworth Street. Uh, just giving you a quick look, uh, we've done the waterproofing, which I uh, forgot to do on one of the last houses and had to pull some skirting out, but this time I've made sure I've got in and done it prior. So what we've done, we've put a pencil mark around the base of the, the wall just to show the height that our skirting is going to come up to. And then we've painted this membrane uh, on, which is just a waterproofing membrane. And then you push, uh, it's like a little fiberglass if you like, or a little uh, segment into the corners of the wall. And in New South Wales, um, where we're building this house, it's compulsory that uh, wet areas such as toilets um, are waterproofed and uh, I'll just pan around and move into the bathroom to show you what we've done there but um, yeah I forgot to do this at the last job and had to pull the skirting out so a uh, little lesson for uh, all those guys out there is um, you must be aware of the little rules and regulations that you have to do otherwise it can be a little bit costly to your project like messing around pulling skirting out and things like that like I had to do last time so just giving you a quick look obviously here in the bathroom the tiler will do the waterproofing of the um, the shower recess itself, but we've done the waterproofing just there of um, of the base just to make sure it's all done and dusted. And um, the guy that I have working for me, the carpenter, he's done a very good job here. Um, so that's very very good. Very happy with that. Um, just panning around. So as you can see, we basically have to go right around the base of the walls, um, right around the base of the the uh, bath and then around, um, around back towards the doorway again. So in all wet areas you must have um, this waterproofing done and um, yeah it's just uh, as I said one of those little tips make sure that you um, you do that before. I mean it's pretty natural that it would get done in the, the bathroom where there's tiles but where it sometimes gets overlooked if you're doing a, a timber skirting or something or a, a craft wood skirting in your toilets or other areas uh, that's where it can get overlooked like it did for me last time so uh, that's my tip for, for you guys out there doing your own project make sure you're alert to the little rules and regulations that maybe need to be done um, this one was in the permit you need an inspection for the waterproofing uh, in New South Wales and I overlooked that in the last permit uh, being a bit used to Victorian building rules uh, and obviously yeah I paid the price there and had to pay for it to get done so make sure you read your building permit um, really closely paying attention to the the rules and regs that maybe need to be followed and the inspections that need to be required to be done so if you've got any questions about this process or, or um, this video uh, make sure you give me an email on info at homebuildingrenobuddy.com and I'll be sure to answer them for you okay hope to talk to you again soon bye now